Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I've got some more new radios to show you today. Uh, thought I'd get out here while the weather's nice, because we've got some storms forecast later today. So thought you might like a first look at these. This is the Baofeng BF V8 Mini. Just arrived yesterday and I got them tested, programmed up and everything ready to run today. Um, had a little play with them last night as well, managed to make a couple of good contacts. So I thought I'd just share the results with you guys. Um, basically these are some of the cheapest uh, PMR radios you can buy out there now they're not specifically PMR 446 radios these are actually aimed at either commercial or ham operators but they do have 16 channels CTCSS and DCS tone codes so uh, pretty comprehensive really you can program up using chirp as well which is something we'll have a look at shortly but these particular radios are incredibly cheap and I don't know how they do it for the price but I got these off eBay, just £12.50 each, including free delivery, which you just can't go wrong with, really. So, got a couple of different colours. This is the nice orange one. They do them in black as well. When I got the green, just fancied uh, a bit of colour, really. So, yeah, £12.50 each. Now, if you need a programming cable, the programming cable is about £7, but they do take an ordinary uh, Kenwood uh, jack plug anyway for programming, so you'll probably have one lying around if you've got any other PMR radios. But uh, these are absolutely fantastic value for money, and to be honest, I didn't expect a lot for the price. Um, you, you just can't really beat it. I mean, what's that? It's something like about um, maybe about uh, $17, $18 in the US as well, so very, very cheap radio. Um, on them, they're very basic, just 16 channels. You've got uh, volume, you've got a rotary channel knob as well on these ones. Let me just turn it around like that. Channels 1 to 16. It does have voice as well, so you can actually hear it uh, announce the channel number as you switch it around. You can program it to turn it on and off in the software as well. But on the side you've got PTT, monitor button, and the obligatory uh, torch function as well, which uh, you seem to get in all Chinese radios, which, you know, can be a nice little bonus feature. But if we just uh, pop the uh, battery off the back of this one, if I can remember how to do it. A bit difficult when you've got the uh, thing on there. There we go. That's the spec of the radio. 430 to 440, so it says, but it's actually not, because with the programming software, you can program 400 to 470, so... I've actually got these ones programmed up as PMR446, uh, so you've got the 16 uh, EU channels that are in there. Uh, they can be used in the UK and around most of Europe as well, so that's really cool. And they do say less than 5 watts. Now, the seller I bought these off quotes them as being 3 to 5 watts, but we'll put them through some power tests in a few minutes and uh, see if that's true. 5,800 milliamp hour battery, and that's about it. The die cast body, plastic on the outside, but it does seem quite... Um, Robust, even so. I mean, hey, what do you want for the money? Let's turn one of these on. Power on. And what? very familiar, very familiar indeed. Uh, like many of the other Baofeng radios, the uh, the Chinese voice. And you just rotate this knob round here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you get the idea anyway, it goes all the way up to 16. Uh, nice, straightforward, easy to use radio. Removable antenna, uh, SMA connection, reverse SMA. There you go, the antenna says 400 to 480 megahertz. Um, should be quite efficient, really. It's just a single band radio. Nice and easy to use, very little to go wrong. I believe they're based on the uh, BF888, which has been out for quite some time. So these radios are like a rehash of those because they actually use the same programming software. So if you want to program one of these up, just use the BF888 software or preferably use Chirp. Now I use Chirp because I don't want hundreds of different programs on my computer really for programming radios and a lot of the time uh, the Chinese software isn't that good really. It's kind of um, in broken English and sometimes you have to even work out how to switch it back from Chinese to English so it's not very good that way. Uh, let's take a look in the box. One of the key things about this radio is that you don't actually get a charger with it because it's all USB based. Let me just show you this. So you just get a nice little micro USB cable. Shame it's not uh, USB type C, but it's no deal breaker really. I've already got loads of these around, so I've not even opened that one. Plug into any USB port. Takes a few hours to charge. I don't think it's particularly quick charge. I just left it plugged into uh, one of those USB multi-way adapters. It seems to take about three hours to charge up fully. So uh, not too bad. Um, but the beauty of these is no 
strange power adapters for different countries, no two pin US or two pin EU adapter or three pin UK one. Take this anywhere in the world and just charge it up from any USB socket. So I'd like to see more radios like that really, to be honest. I'm not really too bothered about the uh, desktop charger. Although the battery packs have got the provision for a desktop drop-in charger, so I guess there's one out there somewhere that does this kind of thing. Just undoing the, uh, the side of the radio there. Not waterproof in any way, but uh, they do have plenty of uh, protection around there from splashing. Uh, just this little flap on here. Standard Kenwood jack, so you can plug in a speaker mic, data programming cable. Like I say, if you've got any of those um, data programming cables that do the other 100,000 Chinese clones, then you won't need to buy one for this. I just use one that I've had in my box for years and it still works fine. Micro USB, and that's about it. That's all you need to know. That's all there is inside these radios. There's also a belt clip that I've not actually attached to the radio yet. These only came yesterday, so I've literally just got them charged up. Took them out last night for a quick try. Everything good. Made um, a 20 mile contact with somebody on high ground. Another contact about uh, seven or eight miles away as well. No problems at all with the audio reports or anything. Um, like I said, this other one's turned on over here. There's also a wrist strap and also the little uh, hands-free kit. Now, curiously, in the box, I just got this with both my radios. I don't know if this is just a mistake or something. I've got some programming software and a programming cable and I have no idea what this is for. It's not for this radio. I took it out of the box and went, what the hell? I've no idea what this one's for. It must be another Baofang radio, but it certainly isn't for this particular one. So I've no idea whether this is a mix up at the factory or the supplier, but it's nice to keep an extra programming cable. I've got two of these now. So if anyone knows what they are, leave a message in the comments. Let's just see uh, what these fit. They've got three little gold pins on them and a screw in the bottom of the uh, packet. So you can obviously attach them to something. Maybe it's one of the Baofang DMRs or something. I, I don't know, but anyway, Bonus, maybe? I don't know. Not much news to me, though. Instruction manual, very, very basic. Just list the full uh, specifications. 400 to 470, 16 channels, Chinese English, 50 groups CTCSS, 105 groups DCS, timeout, LAM function, USB rapid charge, programmable by PC. Fairly good English. Uh, just tells you about battery charging, how you can use the monitor to release a squelch. There is a Vox feature on it that needs enabling in software as well, usually. Um, you can do that. And just the various specifications of the radio. Let's uh, pop on a uh, power test in a minute. But before I do, just to give you some comparison here. This is my old Kenwood here. Had these number of years. The THK40, a little bit battered, but still working really, really well. Size-wise, look at the comparison there between these two. You can tell which is the much bigger radio. Obviously, there's no keypad and display on there, but... Who cares? It's looking really good. It seemed quite robust as well. Um, plastics don't feel cheap or anything. It's got a nice feel in the hand. PTT button is quite positive as well. So uh, I think all in all, it's a good little radio. Let's do that power test. Let's see what we've got. We've got the Shawcom SW102 power meter here. And it's uh, going into a dummy load, as you can see there. So we should get a nice accurate test result, hopefully. So. Full power PMR channel 1 on this radio. Let's give it a try. Hopefully you can see the screen there in the sun. There we go. So what we're getting, just over 2 watts, 2.12 watts of power. Something like that, which is uh, pretty much what we expected on this particular radio. The manufacturer claims 5 watts, but the Chinese always overstate the amount of power uh, on the output on these things. But 2 watts is pretty decent, to be fair, for this type of radio, especially when you consider the cheap price as well. So it's got a healthy 2 watts of output there. About half a watt on low power. Let's just go up to the top end on uh, Nine, channel 16. 16. Give another burst of RF up there. Yeah, 2.19, so pretty consistent across the range there, really. 2.19, 2.18 watts. So there you go. That is the power level on these radio, the true power. So uh, pretty decent, all the same, really. Can't really complain. So the next thing to do is to get some real world test uh, done on these. So we're gonna head out to a local high point. Let's see if we can get some PMR446DX contacts, fingers crossed. It's been quite active on an evening recently, so I'm hoping that we can uh, maybe race some stations a little bit out of town and uh, see what sort of radio report we get back on these. Okay, enjoy. Tango Mike 01, Tango Mike 01, listening for any possible contacts on PMR446 Channel 8. Just testing out a radio. Anybody out there can give me a quick radio report, please. 
Yeah, Roger, Roger, is that Humberside Airport? I think you said you're located at there, go ahead. Yeah, Humberside Airport, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger, yeah, I've got you coming in there. Can't give you a signal report, but there's no signal meter on this radio, but it's sounding very clear from this side, go ahead. Yeah, you give me about number three out here. Ah, Roger on that. Yeah, I take it you're static mobile there, but um, yeah, you're coming through fine to me. Uh, like I say, I'm on the coast uh, between Bridlington and Flamborough. Um, yeah, just uh, looking straight over the water, actually, so probably just straight over the water to you from where you are. Um, nice and still this evening up here. Quite a nice evening. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm picking you up pretty clear out here, so you're getting through to Humberside Airport all right, and there's other stations out there if you can give them a shout. Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, I can't actually hear anybody else at the moment from this location. It's been very, very quiet this evening, but um, yeah, I'm literally using a £12.50 radio. It's just a little Baofeng that I've programmed up with the uh, 16 PMR446 channels, about two watts output. So it's only a very tiny little radio, just £12.50 off eBay, Roger. Yeah, well, you're certainly coming through to Longstad Airport, OK, on that. Yeah, put the station, take it down to number six. Yeah, number six, okay, go on. Seven. Six. Yeah, Humberside Airport Station, are you still receiving me on channel six, over? Copy. Yeah, Roger, Roger, I've got you on this one, yeah, was it rather busy on that frequency? Yeah, you've swapped the stations on there and you're, you're, you're quite low compared to them. Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, I'm pretty impressed, though, that we're actually making the contact at all from this location. That's uh, pretty amazing. I'm just trying to think how, what sort of distance that must be. It must be at least 40 miles in a straight line. Go ahead. Yeah, I've just checked. It's 40 miles. Yeah, that's pretty impressive, really. Um, I'm surprised to be getting you at all. I've been putting a shout-out a few times this evening on Channel 8, and nobody's been coming back to me locally. Quite a few stations usually on Channel 8 this way, but uh, very quiet this evening. Yeah, it is. If you keep trying on Channel 8, yeah, Roger on that one, yeah. Um, didn't catch your personal name anyway. You've got Simon this side. Yeah, you've got Steve this side up inside airport. OK, Steve, yeah, well, nice to make the contact with you this evening. Uh, like I say, I can't give you a signal report, but it does sound quite crisp on this radio. Um, I'm going to have to shoot off, but if you get back on Channel 8, I'll be back on later. If you keep calling out, you'll get someone coming back to you. There's normally someone from the uh, Beverly area. Yeah, Roger on that. Well, many thanks for the radio report. I really appreciate you getting back to me this evening. That's really, really good. So uh, I wish you 70 freeze for now anyway, Steve, and uh, nice to make the contact with you there. Cheers and beers. Yeah, no worries. Cheers. Thank you very much. Mm, wow, that is pretty amazing. Um, yeah. <laughs> like I say, a distance of 40 miles on a £12.50 radio under flat band yeah, conditions. Yeah, the, uh, I think there's somebody else calling me there. I don't know. Uh, Tango Mike zero one, go ahead. Evening, chaps. Just listening to you, uh, comms. Yeah, Roger on that. Yeah, uh, not sure where you're located, but you're coming through quite strong to me. I'm just on the cliff tops uh, between uh, Bridlington and Flamborough at the moment on the east coast. There, go ahead. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm in Skipsey. Go ahead. Ah, right, straight across the water to me then. Um, I don't know if you're on holiday up there or whether you're actually uh, home base located or anything, but uh, you're booming through to me on this radio. Like I say, it's a £12.50 Baofeng radio. Uh, it's it's kind of tiny little thing, really. No display on it or anything. It's just 16-channel uh, programmable, 3-inch antenna. It's working quite well. Triple uh, eight, is it? Yeah, it's like a triple eight, really. It's, um, I think it's a VF uh, eight or something similar to that, and um, twelve pound fifty off eBay, including delivery. Can't go wrong with that. Yeah, you program it up with Chirp software. Um, you don't have to use the Balfung software. You can use the triple eight software. It's basically triple eight compatible. But uh, yeah, just use Chirp. It's a lot easier, really. Had it programmed up in no time, yeah. Yeah, I use Chirp. It's uh, pretty straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, it's a pretty good thing, really. Uh, nice, straightforward piece of software to use. Works with loads of different radios. Better than having hundreds of different programs on your PC as well, really. But, uh, yeah, it's a little green one, this is. Puts out about 2 watts. I've had it on a power meter. And just over 2 watts of power anyway. And uh, seems to work quite well. But I am on a high point at the moment. I'm just literally looking over the sea, uh, down towards the coast where Hornsey and Skipsey is. I can see the wind turbines in the distance and everything from here and down to Wivensea as well, yeah? Yeah, I'm just 
uh, uh, Mr. Moose, you know, the ice cream parlour. Um, and a uh, Retavis 771 antenna. So there you have it, the Baofeng BF-V8 Mini 2A radio. Absolutely great little performer, as you've seen in the video clip there, with me talking to the station up on the cliff tops. If you're interested in buying one of these, I'll leave a link in the description on the YouTube video, and you can pick up your own from the same guy that I did on eBay. Or they might be available outside of the UK to other suppliers too. I'm not sure, I've not done my research on this particularly, but uh, yeah, if you're interested, go check it out anyway. There's only one final thing that I needed to actually uh, show you very quickly, because I did promise I'd have a look at this, and that is the data programming uh, using Chirp. So very quickly, I'm just going to power up one of these little radios and uh, we're just going to take out the uh, little rubber uh, bung in the side of here and plug in the uh, standard uh, programming cable. So there you go, just going into this radio here. And as you'll see in a second, uh, we're going to go over to uh, Chirp. So all you do is download the latest version of Chirp uh, put your COM port number in for your programming cable, um, just basically a standard Kenwood type uh, programming lead. Um, select the vendor as Bofang and then model BF AAA should do the job. And let's just hit OK and see if we can read the contents of the memory on there. So here you go, it's cloning from radio, very, very quick indeed. I don't have many channels, so it's very, very easy to do. And there you can see it, just in the table there. Channels 1 to 16, that's all you've got on these radios. So if you want to program them up for 70 SEMs, repeaters or anything like that, you'll have to think carefully about your priorities on which ones you're going to use regularly. Or just create a few different data sets and upload them as you go out. So you might be using this as a PMR radio one day, and you might want to use it on amateur radio to go through the repeaters the next, or simplex, or anything else like that really, or just as a monitor really. So there you go, there's the 16 uh, PMR446 channels that are available throughout Europe. Uh, easy enough to program up um, straight from Chirp, in fact um, there's all sorts of little tools inside this uh, thing, it's great. You can actually import from stock config, which gives you uh, some of the most uh, frequently used things, including the uh, uh, other side there, DE Freenet, uh, EU LPD and PMR channels, and you can chop and change these to, as you want. And there's also the FRS and GMRS channels there for the uh, Americans as well. So uh, it's got pretty much uh, everything you could want in there. Uh, so very easy to program up using that. I wouldn't even bother using the Baofeng software. Uh, Chirp's really good because you're only installing one piece of software on your machine. And it does for about 100 different radios. So uh, it caters for most of the uh, popular Chinese variants and some others as well there. So uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. Uh, you take care. Cheers for now.